Hi guys, this is Hakeem. Welcome to Kim's Tech. In this video, we are going to build this responsive navigation bar using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this navigation bar is actually responsive. So if I change the screen size right now, so as you can see, um, those list items are now hidden. And if I click on this, um, the list items are going to transition in. And also if I click on it, they are going to transition out. So we are going to make use of font awesome for the icons. And I'll be making the project available for you guys to download. So I'll be putting the link in the description down below. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing and also turn on the notifications so that you notify anytime I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's start coding. Okay, guys, so inside here I have an index.html file with the title of navigation right here, and I've linked and the font awesome over here. And also I've created a style.css which I've linked um, right here. So um, this is the image over here for the background. Um, this image is gotten from unsplash.com. So um, this is the page you are going to work with. So right now, we'll start by adding a nav tag. So the nav tag is going to hold the logo and the list item. So I'm going to add a div with the class of logo. Inside this div, we are going to add a h1 with the test of nav because don't have a logo. Then right here, we are going to add um, a ul tag with the class of list dash um, items. So this is going to hold the list items. And inside the um, ul tag, we are going to add a list element with the class of list. And also we are going to add an anchor tag with the class of link. And we are going to add a hash because it's going nowhere. So right here, I'm going to add um, a text of home. And I'm going to duplicate this um, three times. Over here, we are going to change it to about. Here it's going to be um, contact us. Then we are going to change this to more. So right now, I want to add a section tag below the um, nav tag. So this section tag is going to hold the image, the background image. I'll give the class of PG. Inside the section tag, we are going to add an image tag which is going to um, hold the image and give the source of um, pg dash and um, jpg and an alt of um, pg. Um, this is what we have right now. So, start styling the CSS. So, I'm going to open the style.css. I'm going to do um, a little bit of page reset. We add a padding of zero, margin of zero also. And a box sizing of um, border box. So I'm just removing the default pattern. And for the box sizing of border box, we want um, every element to count for its pattern and border. So we are going to um, style the body tag. We we'll give the font family of um, sans serif an overflow of X and set it to hidden. So that's all for the um, body tag. So right now I'm going to style the um, nav tag. So I'll get the nav. We're going to keep position of relative because we want to position um, some element absolute to the nav tag. So we'll give it a height of um, 100 VH. I'm sorry, 10 VH. I'll give the width of um, 100%. Then I'll give the background color of hash 551170. Then we are going to give it display of flex. I'm going to give it um, align items of center because I want to center the um, items vertically. So right now, let's what we have. So this is what we have. So the next step, we are going to style the div with the class of logo. So I'm going to get the class which is this logo class over here. We give it the color of white. And we're going to give it a width of 40%. So once it take 40%, why the list um, items is going to take um, 60%. I'm going to give it a padding left of 50 pixels. So we are done with the logo class. And this is the logo class right here. So the next step, I want to start the list items itself. I want to get the list items, which is this URL tag with the class of list items. 
get a weight of 60 percent so i want to take the rest weight i want to give it am list style of none because i want to get rid of this bullet point and right now i'm going to give it um display of flex also then we'll give it um justify content of center of space evenly so i want to space the items evenly and this what we have right now so our um, next step we are going to start the link that is the anchor tag right here so i'll get the class which is the anchor tag with the class of link we are going to give color of white we give text decoration of none because i want to get rid of this underline right here i'll give the font weight of bold so this is what we have right now so we are through with the um desktop version of the navbar so the next step we are going to uh, make this navbar responsive before making responsive we are going to add our hamburger menu over here so i'm going to pull up the um font awesome page so i'm going to search for bars so we are going to make it of the bars icon and this should be the icon and i'm going to select it so i'll click on this to get icon we're going to add the um icon over here that is below the ul tab we are going to add a div with the class of menu dash btn so this div is going to hold the um icon and i want to paste the icon over here so um this is what we have right now this is the icon over here so the next step we are going to start this um background image so we are going to get the class that is this pg class over here below here we are going to start styling it so give it a height of um 90 vh the navbar over here took um 10 vh so the pg section right here is taking a 90 vh which in, in total is going to be 100 vh so i'm going to start the image itself right now so add the class of pg and we'll get the image tag I'm going to give it height of um 100 percent width of 100 percent and um object fit of cover so this is the background right here so we are done with the background um next step you are going to add a display of none so we don't want the icon to show up in the desktop view i'm going to grab the class over here that is the menu dash btn class and over here i'm going to change the display to none so display to none so right now it's going to hide that icon right here so um right now i'm going to switch this to a mobile size and we are going to start styling for the um mobile view so um to make this responsive we are going to add a media query so i'll say add media And over here we are going to um add the mass dash weight of um 750 pixels then we are going to uh, modify some styles over here so what this media query is doing right here once the screen um width hit 750 or is below 750 any um css style will right here is going to run so we'll start modifying some css class over here and the first CSS class we are going to modify is going to be the um, menu dash bt. That is the um, class holding the hamburger menu. We are going to give it a um, position of absolute. Then we'll give it right of zero. And we are going to give it a um, height of 100%. And width of um, 50 pixels. I will give this plus legs so i'm um, right now the hamburger menu is going to show up so the, the next step i want to style the icon itself so i um, will get the icon by saying menu and get the i tag for the icon we'll give align self of um center so i want to center it vertically we'll give the color of white i'll give font size of um 30 pixels 
so let's what we have now right now this is the hamburger menu over here so the next step we are going to um hide these list items so we are going to get list item class we we'll say list over here we are going to give position of absolute also we we'll give flex direction of column because um, I want to change the default direction to column, so it's going to change. They're going to stack above each other. Then, right here, I'm going to give it um top of 10vh because I want to push it um 10vh from the top. Then, we'll give it um right of zero and give it width of auto. That's what we have. And this is what we have right now and these are the list item so next step i want to start the list element itself so we we'll get the list class that is this list that is holding the anchor tag i want to add the background color then we are going to give it a padding we'll give it um top of 30 pixels um right of 150 pixels bottom of 30 pixels then left of um 30 pixels so um let's what we have and right now these are the list items so um the next step we are going to add um a hover effect to this list items so we are going to say list hover and once someone hovers on it, we want to change the background color. So let's see. All right, now we have the hover effect. So the next step, we are going to move the list items um, inside the page. So we want to push um, all these list elements inside the page. So to do that, we are going to make it of transform property. So I say transform. I'm going to make it of the translate um, function. So I want to translate it x um, 200%. So right now we have the element um, inside the page. So next step we are going to add a show class to this um, list class over here. So say list dot show. And inside this class, I want to translate the element back to its original position. So I'm going to copy this and I'll change this to zero. So I'm going to make use of JavaScript to toggle this class, which is going to translate the element back to its original position. And next step, I want to add a transition in order to get that code effect. So I'll give it um duration of 0.4 seconds. So I think that'll be all for the CSS. And right now I'm going to make use of JavaScript to toggle the class. So over here, I'm going to add a script tag. And inside the script tag, I'm going to write our JavaScript code. Obviously, you can write um, your code in an external JavaScript file, but um, I think we should just write it over here. So, we're going to get the hamburger menu. So, say menu dash btn. Say document or query selector. And I'm going to select it by the class name, which is um, menu dash btn. So, I'm going to get the list item also. So select list L for list element. It goes to document dot query selector all. So right now I want to select um every element with the class of list. So and right now I want to add an invert listener to the menu button. So it's the menu dash btn add event listener and we are going to listing for a click event then we are going to add a function so right here this list element is running an array of the list items so um if i console log this right now so console log list l so if I click on this, as you can see, we have um we have the list items. So right now I'm going to access the first item and I'm going to toggle the class that you guys can see. So say class list dot toggle. I want to toggle the show class. 
so i want to get the show class over here and i'll paste it right here so right now let's see what we have so if i click on this as you can see we have just one element so in order to toggle all the whole element you are going to add a for loop so over here we'll say for and we'll say let i is close to zero as long as i is less than list element that's length I'll say i plus plus and right here i'm going to get this then i'll get rid of the console log then i'm going to change this to the count so right now if click on it as you can see we have the element but the elements are coming in in same time so we want it to come in um, in different time so what you are going to do right here i want to add um transition delay to the element so we'll get the list element and we'll say style dot transition delay and over here want to um delay it with the count so if the first count is zero it's going to have um delay of zero seconds second count is one is going to have um delay of one seconds so right, I'm going to add a count and I'm going to concatenate it with S. So I'm um, less what we have. And right now, as you can see, they are coming in in different time. And also, if I click on this, they are going out in different time. So I'm um, right now. Um, the delay is too much. So I'm going to change this to zero point eight count seconds. Like if the um count is one, it's going to be zero point one seconds. If it's two, it's going to be zero point two seconds. So to do that, we are going to add um zero point here, and we are going to concatenate it also. So um this should fix it. So right now, as you can see, they are coming in fast, and also if I click on it, they are going out fast. So that will be all for the video. If you find the video helpful, please like and share. And also, if not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Drop a comment. Let me know which kind of video you want me to make next, and I'll see you in the next video.